In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Adobe Photoshop free trial in 2025. To get started, head down to the link in the description below this video. Once you click on that link, it's going to take you across to the official Adobe website. Then we're going to head up to the top left hand side and click on creativity and design. And under featured products, we're going to select Photoshop. Once you're on the official Adobe Photoshop page, you can have a look at all the amazing features that you get access to inside of Photoshop, like decluttering images on demand. You can create the unexpected by combining images. You can make instant edits really easy. And if you wanna see any of the other features you get access to inside of Photoshop, you can explore all of those amazing features, especially like the new generative AI or generative fill to create whatever you want in your images. So once you're ready to get access to these amazing tools inside of Photoshop, head down and click on that free trial button. Next, you're gonna to have to decide between individuals, business, and students and teachers. So whichever one applies to you, select that one. We're gonna go with individuals. And then we're gonna choose between the Photoshop only app or the Creative Cloud all apps option. Now the all apps option is going to be your best value because you get access to so many additional apps like Illustrator, Adobe Express, Firefly, which is the amazing AI, and Acrobat Pro. You also get a whole lot of tutorials, fonts, and templates included, plus 100 gigabytes of cloud storage. And the best part is you get a thousand monthly generative credits for the amazing AI to use inside of Photoshop. So we're gonna go with the Creative Cloud All Apps option, and then we're gonna pick a subscription. Even if you're going with the free trial, you need to pick a subscription. You can choose between the annual bill, the monthly, the annual prepaid, and the monthly only. Now these prices might be a little bit different depending on when you are watching this video, but you will see the monthly option will be a little bit more expensive than the annual build monthly. That's because if you go monthly and you go for two or three months and you decide you want to stop using Photoshop, then you can cancel at any time with no fee. If you go the annual build monthly to get the discounted rate, if you decide to cancel after a few months, then fees will apply if you cancel early before your annual contract is up. So choose whichever option suits you best. We're gonna go with the monthly option and then you can click on the blue continue button. In step one of three, the most important thing is to check that your due now is in fact zero. So you're getting access to that free trial and check when that free trial ends. It's a seven day free trial and how much you will be charged when that free trial ends. Adobe is also gonna give you the option to add Adobe stock free trial included with your Creative Cloud All Apps free trial. And that's a seven day free trial. So we're gonna add that in and click the try now. And you'll see that when the free trial ends, our total amount has now changed because Adobe stock is a different product and over and above your Photoshop subscription cost. So just check those figures and when you are happy, click the blue continue button. In step two of three, we're going to enter your email address that you're going to use for your Adobe account and then click on the blue continue button. And then step three of three, we're gonna enter your payment information. It'll be your credit card information or you can use PayPal as your payment option. You still need to enter this to get access to the seven day free trial. So complete your payment information and then click continue and the Creative Cloud app will start downloading. Once you've got the Creative Cloud app on your computer, you can then download Photoshop and install it on your computer and get access to all the amazing features inside of Photoshop. If you get stuck anywhere along the way or you have any questions about downloading and installing Photoshop on your computer, let us know in the comment section down below and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.